Hi, I'm John Peck from SPSS, and I'd like to tell you a Python success story. SPSS is one of the oldest software companies still standing. We've been around for about 40 years. I haven't been there that long, but I've been there 25. Started as an academic research product uh, coming out of Stanford University originally. Now it's used all over the world in business, academia, government. It's a very general purpose product. It's an old product, but it's a general purpose product. We do statistics, graphics, data mining, predictive analytics, all those buzzwords. SPSS started as a product and therefore gave its name to the company as SPSS. Now it's kind of confusing. I'm going to talk about the SPSS product, but the SPSS company has a bunch of other products, some of which you've probably heard of, Clementine, Dimension, Showcase, a bunch of other smaller ones. We're currently working on version 17 of SPSS, of the current code generation. So it's been around. We've kind of moved up the language evolutionary tree. It started in Fortran. Uh, there's still code in there somewhere that's probably 25 years old, maybe some a little older. No one could find it, but it's probably there. We started coding in C a long time ago, C++. In the latest release, we rewrote the whole user interface in Java. Now, this product started back in the 60s with IBM mainframes, Fortran, JCL, all that sort of stuff. Punch cards were the high tech of the time. Now it looks like this. It looks like typical GUI applications, and most of our users still use it that way. They're pointing and clicking. They don't even know what's behind all that. But there's a big syntax language, a big command language behind this product still, hundreds of commands. It's got extensive data transformation capabilities where there is some programming logic. But it wasn't a programmable application. You could run, say, a statistical procedure to estimate a model. But if you wanted to do something like, say, how good is the model? Does it fit well enough? If it does, I want to do certain kinds of predicting. If it doesn't, I want to go do something else with the model. That kind of logic wasn't there. So a couple of releases ago, we embedded Python, starting with 2.4. We embedded Python as a scripting language and exposed it to our users so that they could make this application programmable. So now. You can mix traditional SPSS syntax, and you can mix Python syntax. You can go back and forth. You say begin program. You run some Python code. Then you run some more SPSS code. You run Python code. You can do all that sort of stuff. And we have a rich set of APIs that connect SPSS and Python when you're running this Python code. So you can manipulate the metadata. You can change the case data. You can interact with it. You can control the state of the application. You can change the state. You can run SPSS commands. Well, why would you run SPSS commands in Python if you could run them in regular SPSS? Because of that logic. You want to be able to, uh, to make decisions based on the outcome of the stuff. So you can interact with the output. And furthermore, you can build applications where you embed SPSS in Python or in a .NET application. So you can build a whole new user interface and use SPSS under the cover for statistical services. And in the latest release, you can actually write your own, make up your own SPSS syntax to cover up the Python so it all looks the same. So why did we pick Python? Well, we all know it's a great language. It's a trend in scientific computing. It's easy to embed it the way we have done. Friendly licensing for a commercial application like us. Easy for people to learn. But we had some of the uh, White Oaks kinds of problems. When our users saw this, it was like, huh? What's this Python stuff? We're not programmers. We don't know this. So what happened? Uh, our typical users are not programmers. But Python solves so many problems that were previously impossible or tedious or just really difficult to code that we've gotten a lot of acceptance on this and brought SPSS in as a solution into areas where previously it wouldn't have been considered. And the reaction we've gotten from our users has been great. I won't read you all these quotes. Uh, but it was the most exciting thing that we've gotten for at least a segment of our users since we started. So it's been a big hit. We're spreading the Python gospel to our users. We've converted a bunch of them. And we have a website, as you can see down there at the bottom, for Developer Central, where we have articles, add-on modules, other goodies that people can go and get. The basic product's a commercial product. All the Python programmability add-on stuff is free with the base. Thank you very much.